Okay, so here's a question I get all the time from people who are getting ready to take the T's. They say, should I constantly be taking practice tests? Because they look on the Facebook groups and people are always saying, okay, you know, you can get this practice test from this book and this practice test from this website. And they're always saying, you know, I got a 78 on this practice test, but a 74 on this other practice test. And, and you know, where's my score going to be? And I'm not exactly sure. It's just like, forget it. Forget it. What a great way to just totally waste your time. All right, just taking one practice test after another, right? Just, a, it's a total waste of time. All right, if you're studying for the T's, you probably have a limited amount of time. You probably have a very busy life, okay? People who are taking the T's are some of the busiest people I know, okay? So you have a limited amount of time. And if you want to do well on the T's, you need to focus most of your time on learning new things and studying new stuff, okay? That's how you're going to raise your score. Not spending endless time going over and over and over all these practice tests. Okay? So, that's what I always say. You should begin studying by taking a practice test or doing a diagnostic test and figuring out where are your strengths and where are your weaknesses. Okay? That's the first thing you should do. Then, you take your weaknesses and you study as much as you can about those topics. All right. Those weaknesses are slowly going to become strengths and your score is going to go up. Okay. Spend your time on studying, learning new stuff, not endlessly taking one practice test after another, because usually you don't learn anything new by taking one practice test after another, right? Practice tests don't usually teach you anything new and you need to learn stuff. Now, there is one thing that I do say, okay? You should be studying. You shouldn't be spending all this time on practice tests, but you should be spending time working through T's style practice questions on the topics that you're studying, okay? Here's why. It's really easy to study something and say, yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah, I got that. You, you know, you watch a couple YouTube videos. You spend maybe, you know, 30 minutes, an hour watching YouTube videos. And they say, yeah, I get that. I get that. Okay, fair enough. But can you actually answer a tease question on that topic? And many people who are planning to take the tease, they can't, right? They spend the 30 minutes, 60 minutes watching YouTube videos but they don't actually learn anything important because they can't answer a tease question about that topic. All right. So that 30 minutes at an hour, total waste of time. Right. And I see that a lot. It's like, for example, um, study notes, right. And study guides are really popular and that's great. They can be useful, but you know, study guides often have, you know, like check boxes that people go through. So let's imagine like someone, uh, is studying atoms for chemistry. Okay. Uh, that's an area of weakness. Okay. So they, they pull out the study guide and they go through it and they say, okay, what do I need to know? And they say, okay, okay. You know, um, atomic structure. Yep. Check, uh, protons, check atomic number. Yep. I get that. Uh, electrons, net charge, isotopes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, neutrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it all. Okay, great. But here's a question. Can you actually use that information? to answer the type of problem that the tease is going to ask you, right? The tease isn't going to give you a checklist and say, check the boxes of all the topics that you know, right? It doesn't matter that you can check the box. You have to be able to correctly answer a question about those topics. Okay. So like for this thing that we just talked about with the atoms. Okay. Imagine, you know, you check the boxes of all that, but then here's a question that the T's might ask. I, I wrote this down. Okay. What are the correct number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a cation of cobalt 59 with a net charge of plus three? Okay. This is a super, super common type of question that you'll see on the T's. So you can pause the video right now. You can try to do it for yourself and see if you can get the right answer. 
Okay, the right answer is D, by the way. Okay, but my point is, there are a lot of folks out there who on a study guide will check all the boxes and say, yep, I know that, I know that, I know that. But then they see a question like this and they, they freeze up. They, they, you know, they can't get it right. They don't even know where to begin. And so my point is, if you're checking all the boxes, if you're watching YouTube videos, you know, you're reading, whatever, but you can't correctly answer a tease question, you're not actually learning, right? You're wasting your precious time because you're not actually learning. You're not actually able to answer the questions, which is what the tease is going to ask you to do. So that's something really important to keep in mind. Spend most of your time studying. Don't obsess over practice tests, but find tease style practice questions on the topics that you're studying and make sure that when you learn something, you're actually able to answer tease questions about it. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time studying. And, and that's a shame because I bet you're a really, really busy person. For studying, there are lots of resources out there, right? There are books, there are videos. I have a bunch of videos on YouTube. Um, a lot of people think they're useful. You should check them out. If you like how I break down the T's, how I answer student questions, um, how, how I teach science, check out my website, teasinoneday.com. I have a bunch of resources up there that'll help you with the T's, particularly with the science section. And I always say, you know, if you have questions about the T's, if I can help with something, send me an email, tyler at teasinoneday.com. Uh, it's always a pleasure to try to help students get ready to crush the T's. So if, if you have a common question, send it my way, you know, and maybe I'll even make a video about it. Who knows? But overall, best of luck on the T's. Don't stress out over the practice tests. Focus on your weaknesses, study the information, and make sure that you're actually learning by trying those topics with T's practice problems. Best of luck.